Capricorn, the universe has decided that you are next up for the May readings. I apologize for the delay. My life has been chaos, mayhem, and a lot of unnecessary crap for the last two weeks. I'm not going to get as far into it as I did with Taurus, so we're just going to get the cards thrown down on the table so we can get the show on the road, okay? Because if there's anything I know about Capricorns, get to the point, right? Okay. Mm. It's reading me for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. But even play it from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside Tarot Table. Everyone's always welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. While you're here, you know, if you want to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell, I'm not going to twist your arm. I'm not going to force you to do something you don't want to do. But if you want to see more, that would be how you'd go about that. Okay. Before I do the invocation and throw your cards down, there's two things we need to go over. One, never make any life altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. It's really not often gets people into trouble. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you at all, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take something that doesn't belong to you. Okay? It's not always going to be your story. It's a general reading. It's not going to be for every Capricorn every time. Okay? Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. May 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. Let's get Capricorn on their highest possible spiritual path into their highest possible spiritual good. Capricorn, why are you here? High Priestess Reverse. So may have an ego issues. That's someone not listening to their intuition. Could be ego. There's several different parts to every human shell. There's there's the mind, and there's there's the heart, and there's the intuition. There's lots of parts. I'm not going to get into all of them, but someone is not listening to their gut right now. find out why. Okay. King of Cups. Oh, that's a big old cup. That's a big old cup full of deep emotion. Somebody's got big feels. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. Seven of Swords. Oh, boy. I really don't like this guy. I really don't. In order to figure out what it actually means, I have to get the rest of the cards on the table, but what it usually indicates for me... Not only someone being sneaky. How many swords are in this? How many is he holding? How many is he leaving? Why is he leaving swords behind? Because he plans on returning for the other two at some point. Oh boy. Impure intentions. going on now? Nine of Pentacles. Well, this is you in the here and now. You got nine Pentacles. You don't need somebody else's. You're good. I 
might be a good time for someone to come crawling back. Princess of Swords. Oh boy. Okay, that's a card of communication. And the Four of Cups reverse. Well. <laughs> That's good news. Let's get a little clarity. The four of cups in the reverse indicates someone ignoring a cup. Oh, gosh, what am I doing? I don't want that deck yet. Getting ahead of myself. Ten of Pentacles reversed. I don't think this is your ego problem, Capricorn. I don't. I think something is not going so well for somebody else. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Next to the King of Cups. Overflowing emotion, but not putting in effort. Hmm. We'll get a clarifier on that in a minute. Six of Cups. Oh boy. That's like an emotional heartstrings thing right now. This is someone you've known for a while. That's the saddest part right there. This is someone you've had feelings for for a minute. Oof. Nine pentacles, seven pentacles. No, oh, no. What is going on? Oh gosh, the tower reversed on top of the Princess of Swords. Someone wants to rebuild the tower. Maybe the tower they built for themselves with their stolen swords didn't go so well. Maybe. But who wouldn't want to rebuild a tower with this? Because they're not doing so well. Five of Wands reversed. Oh. On top of a Four of Cups reversed. You don't even want to have the argument. Or you're not going to want to even have the argument. I don't want to fight with you, but I don't want your cup either. <laughs> I don't want a cup. I don't care how full it is. It's the vibe I'm getting. Let's throw down some clarifiers before I overspeak. Capricorn, that's amazing. I'm just saying that's amazing. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the card and the table for Capricorn, please, for May 2021. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021.
the moon. Could be Pisces. Could have something to do with the next moon cycle. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. It's a card of... Things illuminating in the shadows. Perceptions being skewed because things do not look in the moonlight how they do in the sunshine. Things a tendency to be overblown. reversed. They may not have said anything yet or may not have even approached you yet. Maybe they don't know how. They could have ego issues. Maybe they don't want to admit that things aren't going so well. Shady. It's real shady. If they are talking to you, they're not telling the truth. Dragging you into a fun house. Horus had that moon card too. Hmm. Hmm. Why is the King of Cups here? Shadow side reversed. In this particular deck, that is the Devil card. Hmm. Deep emotions, possibly a little bit of obsessive behavior, potentially toxic. You disconnected from it, though. Ten of Cups, reverse. I mean, just wasn't happy. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? High Priest reversed. Somebody didn't want to put the work in. It doesn't matter how much love is in that there cup. You're not putting the work in to fill the ten, the other nine cups up. To fill the ten cups up. You're not going to get the blessed union you want. Eight of cups. Reversed. You may have sent them back to where they came from. I don't know. Why the Eight of Cups reversed? Why is that reversed? Oh, okay. I love it when you give me answers. King of Swords reversed. Hermit reversed. Empress reversed. King of Swords reversed. They were going down a path that was not illuminated. They were not going down the path you wanted to go down. It wasn't going to grow. There wasn't hope. King of Swords reversed. There was lies. Emotional decision making leads us back to obsessive behavior. Somebody wasn't happy. Maybe they were just an extremely emotional person. Or things were overblown. Maybe they were a little egotistical. They weren't logical. I don't know. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ace of Cups reversed. Mm. 
Knight of Cups. Oh boy. I'll be back. Why is the Six of Cups here? Ew. Seven of Cups, Four of Swords reversed. Ew. So, I spilled your cup this time around, and it didn't work this time around, but I'll be back. I'll be back with another cup of love. And lies and deception. Because we go way back. I don't think it was always bad between between y'all. I really don't. Because you do have the Six of Cups. Soulmate connection at the very least. You've possibly played the game together before. I don't think it's always been bad. But they have a they have a, they have, an, a, they have a very interesting card that they play, and I think they play this card with you often. They keep coming back. It's like that sock or that Tupperware lid that you keep throwing away that keeps coming back. I swear, gnomes bring that crap in and out of the house. No lie. Coming back trying to make sure there's still an option to make you restless. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Wheel of the Year, the Nine of Pentacles happened. You're in the here and now because you closed a cycle out. And you let a new cycle start in your life. You got rid of whatever that was that wasn't making you happy. That wasn't putting the energy into the connection that they should have. It, it, it almost have like, has like an energy vampire vibe. Ew. I don't like it. Ew. Ace of Wands fell out. In the reverse. The Nine of Pentacles is here because you let the cycle close out. You didn't strike the match the last time. You let it go. Because they weren't putting the energy into it. I think you finally came to the conclusion that it wasn't going to grow. And they were trying to drag you down a road you, you didn't want to go down. But here lies the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? <clears throat> Six of Swords. It's a card of return. You sent them packing. I'll be back with this giant cup of love for you because I left two swords behind. And they patiently waited for just the right or wrong time to come back. You know, take it however it resonates. Taurus had a very similar reading. Do we have a retrograde coming up? I'm going to check my calendar. I think we're a little far off from that. But again, I got to check my calendar. Give me one on the Six of Swords reversed. Oh, they're coming to light the stick one more time. He rides in as fast as he rode out. 
He never hangs out long. Always leave stuff behind, though. It's communication. Is this a good time? I have a stick for you. Energy vampire. I'm getting energetically consumed just reading these cards right now. I need to go take a nap, but when I'm done with this, I gotta go get ready to go to the bread and butter job. All right. Why is the prince of swords... Sorry, princess of swords here. Why is the princess of swords here? Hi. Four of pentacles reversed. Oh, they're coming in with communication. They're letting it all go. They may come back releasing stuff that didn't even have to do with you. Why is this four of pentacles reversed here? Queen of swords. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. You're going to demand some truth. Fine. You want to talk? We'll talk. But if you don't tell me what I want to hear, you don't want to know what I'm going to do with this sword. Because you're probably going to cut them out of your life completely. Why is the tower reversed here? The tower reversed here. It indicates wanting to rebuild a tower, wanting to start over. Justice reversed. You can't rebuild a tower on unsteady ground. Why justice reversed? Wands reversed. You're gonna slam the door. You know doggone well that this is just as unstable as it was the last time you went around. You're gonna shut the door. Because you were building a tower of your own here with your nine pentacles. And they see that. It's like they've been patiently waiting, watching. And they want in on what you got because it's not going so well for them. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Do what you want. It's your life. But I wouldn't do it. I can smell a seven of swords like a fart in the wind. Just saying. And the fool card comes out. Because you're starting new adventures, new places, new people, new things. And you're leaving this garbage behind you. Why is the four of cups reversed here? King of Cups. I have this amazing cup of love for you still. It's the same cup I've always carried for you. Because we've been doing this for a long time. The tugging those emotional heartstrings. Tugging those emotional heartstrings. Playing you like a cheap fiddle. Just saying. But you want nothing to do with her cup. I know what's in that cup. <laughs> and I don't want it because it's the same stuff that was in the cup before. The same cup you spilled. And you've spilled over and over and over again. If that's your story. I mean, if they only did it once, cool. But I have a feeling this is 
like one of those merry-go-round scenarios and you finally hopped off the merry-go-round. You hopped off the merry-go-round, now they want to drag you back into the fun house. It's your journey, Capricorn. Honey, it's your journey. Do what you want. Why is the five of wands reversed here? Nine of Wands reversed, Page of Swords reversed. I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to talk to you. I done threw in the towel on this already. I don't want no part of it. <laughs> That's where you're at. That's where you're going to go. That's what I see. I may be wrong, but that's what I see. I see you not taking the cup, but do what you want. You don't have to listen to the cards. You sure as heck don't have to listen to me. I'm just here throwing down cards, having a good time. I'm just reading cards. Do what you want. Let's get your advice. That may or may not have anything to do with the reading. The Prince of Wands and the Sun. The Sun indicates soulmate connections. It indicates happiness and all that fun stuff. Prince of Wands, again... He rides in just as fast as he rides out. Throw two more. King of Wands and Death in the Reverse. Hmm. Well, acknowledge the connection for what it is. But if you want to grow past it, you're the only one with the power to do that. Just keep in mind, he rides out as fast as he rides in. And if you want to stay off the merry-go-round, great, but don't let him drag you back into the fun house. Because he's only going to pull you back on the merry-go-round. It's your theme park. Do what you want to do. Nine of Cups reversed and the Three of Pentacles reversed. Avoid things that feel a little bit too good. Because if it feels a little bit too good, you might not want to be doing it. Because it could pull you away from building the foundation of success that you're trying to build, trying to get that last pentacle. Magician reversed, Queen of Wands reversed. Probably the most important message of all. Don't be somebody's puppet. If they're pulling emotional puppet strings, you've got to shut that down, honey. Shut that down. They don't see your worth. And they don't let you know your worth. Shut that down. All right, Capricorn. I got to go get ready for the bread and butter job. Take care. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. Love you to bits, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for stopping by.